So some of the other tools that uh, Windows allows you to use is uh, one of them is ARP, and basically you can type in ARP, hit enter. It's going to give you the help output for it. So if you actually want to view the ARP table, you can do ARP-A. It's going to show you everything that is currently loaded in there. Uh, all the ones that say static are set and cannot be changed. The ones that are dynamic can be changed uh, by doing an ARP response or request or anything like that. Um, so basically, you can do uh, ARP D space star. This will clear out your your ARP table. Now, uh, one important thing: this this happens on Windows uh, Vista and also Windows 7. Um, deletion failed. It requires elevation, so you actually have to run CMD uh, as the administrator, like so. And let's come back here and do it again. Oops. And as you can see, no ARP entries found. So ARP is a layer two protocol. It stands for Address Resolution Protocol. And what we can do basically, um, it uh, if you ping something, uh, it, it has to have the MAC address so that it can find it on a layer two. So if we ping um, 192.168.100.1, which is our firewall, there will be an entry in here for the firewall, as you can see, and the physical address, which is actually the MAC address of that firewall's internal interface. Uh, and as you can see, it's dynamic, so we did not hard code it. Now, uh, there are some security risks with this, and this is um, this is talked about in the man in the middle attack uh, video that I have, and basically um, you can spoof this to redirect traffic and stuff like that. Um, and in that video, I discuss uh, how to combat it and basically avoid having it spoofed. And there's uh, another utility that I'll be releasing that will alert or, uh, you know, not allow that to happen. So I, I go over all that in the other video, so just check that one out. But basically, um, this is what you can do in ARP. You can view it. Um, sometimes with networking issues, the wrong MAC address is displayed. That way, uh, something is ARPing incorrectly, and then you could go work on a switch and check it out and uh, figure out why that is happening. Uh, in addition to other tools, there's NetShell, um, which I won't go in detail too much uh, as it will take up a lot of time. Uh, basically, you can type in NetSH, all one word, puts you in the NetShell prompt. If you type in help, you can uh, basically go through this. And this is very simple to follow. Basically, um, I'll show you here the WLAN right at the bottom so we can go. WLAN and then you'll see we're in NetShell WLAN section so you can type in help again and this gives you the total commands here but the commands in the context uh, which is a context that we're in is the WLAN context um, we can uh, see what's going on so uh, from here we can do show and as you can see show was incomplete so we can pair it all. So we can do show all. And this would show us basically all of this information that's displayed here. Network mode, profiles, um, settings, and everything like that. Interfaces. So uh, this is good if you want to script up and automate like connecting to a wireless network, disconnecting or switching. Uh, wireless networks and so on. This is one way that you can do it using the NetShell command. Now, um, let's go back to it. Um, and we can. You can go in here. Um, firewall is another one. You can actually automate creating firewall exceptions through the Windows firewall. Um, there's some security things with that. Uh, however, those have been taken care of. Uh, and been helped in um, um, Windows 7 and Windows Vista. And I'll go into more details on that. There'll be a video on that as well. Um, 
but yeah, these are some of the more popular tools. Netshell's not used as much as the other ones. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this will help you out if you guys are having issues with it. Uh, if you like the video, comment, rate, uh, subscribe to the channel. There'll be quite a few uh, tutorials on how to use tools like this, how to do scripting, everything like that. So, uh, thanks, guys.